Checking on Money Matters this Wednesday, Anheuser-Busch is one step closer to its mega merger, and the U.S. Senate takes up an energy industry overhaul. Jane King is joining us now live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning to you, Jane. Welcome back. We missed you. So the U.S. Thanks. Senate revived a bill that would promote a variety of energy sources we're hearing. So how would this change how we get energy? It would, Bruce and Jen. It would be a major overhaul, really, of the energy industry. So it would promote renewables such as solar and wind power and also natural gas, hydropower, geothermal industry, uh, energy. So the sources where we get energy may be changing if this bill does go through. It would also update building codes to increase efficiency and strengthen electric grid safety standards, among dozens of other provisions. It does still have to be approved by both chambers of Congress and signed by the president, but it would be the first far-reaching energy law nearly a decade if it does get passed. Uh, you know, Anheuser Bush has a big plant up here on the north side, and the people who work there are watching the latest in the Brewers merger with SAB Miller. What's going on? I'm sure they are. The mega beer merger has crossed an important hurdle only a week after announcing that Miller may sell a number of premium labels, including Peroni, Grolsch, and meantime to Japan's Asahi Group. That deal did go through. It's about a $3 billion deal. So that means the $107 billion enormous deal between Anheuser-Busch and, and SAB Miller is a step closer. Sounds like it. So, Jane, Floridians yeah. who get their individual health care plans from United, they may have to change. Why? Well, United Health says it's losing money, right and left, offering Obamacare in several states, including Florida. In fact, Florida is the state with the most Obamacare enrollees in United Health's plans. Now, if it would leave Florida, more than a third of enrollees would have a choice of only one or two health care plans. These are the people who get the individual policies under the Affordable Care Act. United says it will leave some states where it can no longer offer coverage because of the cost. It's becoming commonplace to see everyday items that we use going high tech. Well, we're adding another to the list. Yes, pregnancy tests. I mean, who would have ever thought? How do you do this? Uh, this one comes from Church and Dwight. It's the first response kit. It looks pretty much like a regular pregnancy test, but it is Bluetooth enabled. Uh, it costs between $15, $22. The immediate purpose of the app seems to be just keeping users busy while they wait for the results. If the user is pregnant, the app will give information about fetal development, Bruce and Jen. All right, thank you, Jen. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, I got a lot of questions going through my mind, but I, I'm just going to hold my tongue. Just leave it there. Yep. <laughs> Welcome back, Jane. Thank you. Thank you. All right.